So let's head over to our commentary team for the opening game of the day with Toby Wan and Cinderin. Thank you very much. Yes, it is time to get underway with VG Gaming. Asks Morflin can I just think March is dead. March should really be dead yeah, right he now. He's in a lot of trouble here. The smoke moving up by Fenrir and FY. He's got charge, but that's the reason why FY is holding on to Telekinesis so he can drag March back. And the bash on the Howl. He does the damage, but not enough to get a kill. Morphling will take it. And VG Gaming off to a good start on their Morphling the charge in and in fact uh well qo they're moving up for him ice 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 got both cogs as well as the uh battery assault for qo try and break free the light strike array not going to connect but it does not matter the lean is still having enough damage and qo dropping quickly and super with a hater and he might go for more finds the sun over on nuts going deeper into the tree lines and nuts the paralyzing cast around buys in space with a rocket and the attacks gives a double kill over to vg super and that ends up being a, a pretty costly misplay. It makes for a very explosive game when you have two uh, team fight off laners, such as Clockwork and Spirit Breaker. Or March Spirit in trouble again. He should rather. be dead right now. He try and turn for a charge through three of them, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Maybe the Shallow Grave will be up, and March just get away from VG Gaming, or else you will die. The Sonic Wave, in comes KP. While the Spirit Breaker may die, it'll be a double return as the attack flies up and kills off FY. The Morphling just decided to TP himself back out to base. Got a good rotation in from the Queen of Pains from MVP. Radiance we don't want to rely on 17% to win those fights. Arch is level 6, so... Oh, he just here comes your it. charge, coming after Super QO. Just wants to dive and he's got the Shadow Dance. Slice Rack Array's gonna miss here. And in comes KP with a big Sonic Wave. FY getting hit by it as well. And QO chasing up with the Shadow Dance. Just stealing out that Essence of Rubik. But then Fenrir buys a little bit of space. But you'll have the Dark Pack. FY gonna dive back behind the tower while the cops is marching, protected by the Shadow Grave. Charging away. He's gonna get hooked, shut it down by Ice Ice Ice. There were still the two attacks from the tower that were chasing him. But Ice 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 caught on the wrong side of the river. KP still with Blink on cooldown for another six seconds but has that double damage rune he wants to go back to lane ice 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 revealing himself in the lane qo can look for the pounce right now able to get down there but no leash but they still find the kill in ice 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 waste a bit of time but a kill is a kill five to five meanwhile on top lane how takes out the tier one tower aggressive war behind the tier one tower where it used to be on the top lane and march needs to charge away right now super starts with a slave they're still got frostbite and that's why march does not want to charge and there will be too much damage dealt from before he can get away so they are able to find the kill on the spirit break of vg gaming so the only other choice they've got is to come in behind this T1 tower where they'll find, in fact, both ZM as well as Rubik walking into MVP. Fenrir, real trouble. They actually commit the Death Ward. The charge started on FY. Heavy commitment from MVP. They must have thought there'll be more coming, oh, but QO wants to keep going. Yet. Back in behind the tower. In comes your charge. QO jumps in, gets that leech, and now FY being bashed around. Two kills for MVP. They still got what they came for. The Slark pick is so good in the Arrived here. How still being charged, so they keep that vision up. QO is making the move. There's that replicate, but how do they have enough control again? No waveform this time, and there's a the 17% kicking in Fenrir. They're gonna have some extra help. Ice, 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 hook shotting in. KP needs to blink himself away, need more time. Shallow Grave, Witch Doctor, the Death Wall's going on. Ice, 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 but the Blade Melt turned on the paralyzing cards. Fenrir and Super, they're basically holding hands to the back lines. The Shallow Grave is there for nuts, but his chance of survival is so low. Turns on the restoration, they're nobering up. They see Febby with a life strike array, barely missing from super so morphling will drop and in trade you lose your spirit breaker and your witch doctor defensively of course uh, this gives them even more aggression when mvp looks for fines but vg gaming are the ones looking for it a three-man smoke move they're gonna walk into qo he blinks himself forward right now and being bursted down there goes your slark with a sonic wave steal of rubik fy as we said, never underestimate him, but now KP comes back for revenge for what was stolen. Febby can't move close enough to him, but March, he can. The charge comes forward, the cops get them back for now. Oh, Remember that weave is there, March being stunned, looking to play the Shadow Grave, keeping him alive for now. He goes for the ulti, but then the Yules up in the air. It's going to be the Queen of Pain. March still alive for the moment around the tree line. They do bring him down, but KP in real trouble. Sonic Wave's in one second, he needs more time. Blink away to safety. He's bottling up, already used the one charges. He could turn, he's got Sonic Wave plus Green of armor hiding inside the tree line for the moment but he'll blink in deeper meanwhile Radius febby is actually chasing down ice 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 in the bottom river that earn charge he's so low but not low enough to find the kill the rocket actually scouts out febby is it worth no he doesn't actually have hawk still on cooldown for 20 seconds i just coming down we might actually see crystal maiden getting popped qo just catching fenrir out of position he was moving up into his own jungle that leash is holding him a little bit too much longer and then clockwork while qo breaks free of the sun almost instantly and with the orchid on ice 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 they don't want their own Anything more apart from the death one, but QO can be back in the fight. Ice, 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 almost down, but still alive until KP 
Ivy finally puts him in the grave. One for one trap of March. Looking for the Aldi and there's a Sonic Wave. He's still got another strike, but Super with the strike there is going to keep him now. In fact, the Lincoln Spear triggering, blocking it. It's a two for two trade off, and QO is still alive. Blinks away to safety. How not attacking him, so not putting that Why Blink Dagger back on cooldown. And Kuro wants to come back in again. The Observer Ward's up so they can see where VG is moving. In fact, Hal just walks straight into him. The Lincoln Spear trigger into the Orc. And he actually got to use the Shadow Strike to do it. And Hal dropping low. Life Strike won't better connect. But Hal with so much strength. 2,000 life. They can really observe Ward. But Kuro back in again. Playing with its pulse in the back line. While Hal realizes this. He has to turn around to help out his team. Kuro is still very low. But out of vision. Healing up quickly with the bottle charges. Fenrir back already. But Super. Kuro. Yeah. That's not going to happen. <laughs> If a kill right there and then realize he has to turn around and help out the rest of his teammates. That pressure from Slark, you're always looking behind you. Amart should be doing the same thing as he's about to get initiated on there. Still 1700 lines to get through. The duels into, into, the, into the light strike plus Laguna Blade. It sounds like a lot, but it really Dude, isn't when you have that down. much damage on Vici. Or should you just go for more points? Is Fenrir? Well, they get rid of the Observer Ward to start with, and FY and Fenrir are both moving in. Akua's not even going for that. He sees how in the mid, but no, nope, turns around. Comes back into Fender and FY, Frostbite and Telekinesis. Not the greatest chain in the world, but they knew the Dark Pack deals. He's gonna bring three pounds up into Ice Ice Ice. The bounce from Mars actually knocking Ice 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 back. They're able to get the stars up with the Sonic Wave. Hitting three heroes from Fiji and now the Paralyzing Cask. It's gonna actually trigger the Lincoln Spear. But at the same time, Super and Fenrir, they can't run. It's back down to Hell. Back up the Super. March another charge. Hitting into Hell. Might even push him up on top of the cliff side. He's inside the rock face. Hell bashed again. 77%. Oh, Hell is dead. March. Breaking the game. And winning the fight for MVP. They do the work and they'll take the Roshan. This is what happens one out of 200 times when you have an ability that's true random and not pseudo random. I don't think this is an Octarine core for Super. Now what's really interesting about this is that this makes BKBs on MVP so much better. Now Slark might actually consider it after his Scotty just to be completely invincible. March, gonna try and charge your way, but Yulsa is gonna stop this one and then wait for March is dead. Hilariously enough, FY is still actually the worst ability you get in the game, which was the empowering hate. His bottom tower is under VG Gaming are in such a Radiant's rough spot. They need a fantastic fight. They need how to do something more. And Ice 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 wants to die. The charge is coming in. Life for Great will be there on Q1. But the charge comes in. And March, where does he want to go? That Nether Strike. He actually has it. And with a Sonic Wave, they find the kill on the clockwork. March, though, Lacuna plays it down. There was no Shallow Grave to save. Now, how? The front lines. Nuts. He's going to be Shallow Grave. Into that Death Ward. How much damage? Not enough. The car gets his. Stolen by FY and smashing with MVP's fight. We do have the Aegis more triggering, which means Q1 will be back to all the living. And they look for the power to stuns if they can get him. Pounce up and away. Q O into the trees, regenerating 134 life a second. Ice Ice Ice, no hook shot. And Q O and KP, they just blink themselves and pounce away to safety. They bail out that VG fight. The moment I saw Spirit Break a really good freezing field. Fenrir didn't have it skilled. He has it now. And he used it toward the end of the fight. He got the level up from the first kill. And Glimmer Cape Freezing Field could really be a problem for MVP. Do they have any detection on you? actually don't. jumping in. They're going up the super. The charge there too. They're fully armored up. The weave was used before this fight, so it's going to be difficult to inflict any kind of damage. Ice, ice, ice. At least cocking them in. But now you're dead. One again being cancelled. The adaptive strike going to work. And Fenrir lets it go, but there's not many of MVP around to actually take the damage. Super. Look at the blade. He actually brings down QO March. The job will be finished. It was the urn charge that was doing the work. And Fenrir trying to control up Spirit Breaker, but that's not Mad Cow being chased out. In fact, he's just running himself away, letting KP blink further away from BG Gaming. It's still a 2 for one trap, about to be a 2-2. Two, two. That's Morphling and the Queen of Pain streak. So much money in for Hal. At the end of that in fact, yep, there she is. The Morphling is now a real, real problem during the team fights and Super on top lane and she's going for that Yours on March. They're going to keep fighting him and well, Laguna Blade comes back off cool down to snap March out. So VG Gaming, the King Virus is, is his option. But for now, the top lane, Hal's fine here. He's still got himself a, uh, well then again, maybe he should be fine. The s bit coming in for the Nether Strike and Hal, he had a replicate, needs more time and then he jumps out. 
Going to oh. survive through this, and BKB from KP. FY causing more trouble. They are going to have a crack in the mid lane. Ice Man Dice turns around. He actually managed to avoid the leash and then locks him inside the cogs. The charge is coming in and with their time. Ice 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 is going to TP himself out. They go for more VG. Bevy was in too close. Well, Shallow Grave and March, he's been picked up and tossed around. He was actually still charging Ice 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 back in base. He'll TP out in time. Bevy will not be so lucky. House right behind him. And Dabbit strikes to kill him off. And VG Gaming. Now two consecutive fights heavily going there. Mantis style next, and regardless of which item he chooses, he pushes so much faster than what you just saw. Can easily take a, a lane and a half in a minute. Charge coming in from MVP. Gonna actually go straight through Ice Ice Ice. Turns on the BKB. Runs past the entire of BG Gaming. Ice 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 being iced and the Orc is still on him. There's no extra damage until he comes on back. The Slime finds a kill. Fenrir dropping quickly as well. Gonna play Kyo. Has to leap himself away. He's in the side of the tree. He's out of vision. But KB comes in. Coming up across the main. And Kyo back in one second. As March shots in. He's got nine life. And he charges in for this one. FY might get the screen. But comes up as Super. Orc is up. His physical damage is more than enough right now. Sending you up in the air. They need a subtle something to stop Super and the parallel. The cast can do it. Bouncing back and forth. In comes March again. The cast can now stop. But is there more damage? How? He is just too strong. 3.5k life. They cannot repel him. And this will be Nuts dying in the tree line. KP's also on the run. The leader is chasing him down. Super needs more movement speed. And in the tree line, last oh. right just off target. They can't get the team wipe. BG will still lose three, but MVP lose four. He's still going to be missing during the fight. So a manly fight against both uh, the Slark as well as the Morphling won't really work, but then again, FY, the end of Bash going to work for QO into FY, and he stole, oh, well, he actually, he actually ended the game, he counts, and FY four stops up, Ice Ice Ice, Ice League, and QO needs more help here, he can't pounce out, they can crawl him too much! 70 seconds with no buyback, FY escaping the engagement. And they're looking for more. Febby's on the run from Hal. This could even be even bigger. If you lose your Dazzle as well as your Slime, they can just take mid racks. Febby on the run out of here. Febby's not going to help him make the adapted strike. He does have DP up, but there's no way he's going to survive long enough to use it. That is two heroes down for MVP and BG Gaming. Their only concern right now is top lane. They can take a mid rank and return. They can make a big play with this, actually. I don't think MVP are aware at all. Oh, QO's in a really bad position, actually. There's your hook shot. They catch him now. Pick him up. Throw him down. Adapter strike for the sun. QO! Again down for the count. And again, 70 seconds on the sideline. That's got to be game over. How are they going to go for it? March is currently uh, only pushing. He's going to charge now. He's not going to be there in a pretty good time. They have fortification by a little bit more time. And that weave is going to be pretty much a full, a full max when he arrives. So in comes March. He's charging up the super. The stun from super running too late in the BKB. KP jumps out too, but he got backed up. The stun up almost instantly. KP goes down. 80 seconds. And there's your buyback one. Nuts controlled by Ice Ice Ice. A death one. It just doesn't exist. Ice 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 will kill him in the tree line. KP comes out for the sonic wave. The hook Shock at a miss, can't get out, but again, now Rubik actually stole Sonic Wave. He's actually got the ulti to help burst out the Sonic. All he is one extra stun, Q is dropping low, and by there she blows, and down he goes. Triple kill for Howe and GG. VG Gaming will take game one here against the Korean team MVP. And what a good start. It looked good for MVP. And then VG Gaming, the more fully came online. They MVP, I think, felt like they had to make some really aggressive plays, which they definitely did, but they got a little bit overzealous on the fights outside the dire base, and Beachy Gaming are just too experienced of a team to, uh, to get phased by that aggression.